Am I the only one who's realized that New Year resolutions just don't work? Just don't work? Just don't work? I bet not. You have probably realized that as well, maybe from your personal experience. Don't worry if you feel like that you're not alone. In 2007, a study conducted by Richard Wiseman from the University of Bristol involving 3,000 people who made New Year's resolutions revealed that 88% of people who make resolutions fail miserably so. This is despite the fact that 52% of them were extremely confident that they would follow through on their well, promises at the beginning of the year. The big question is, what happened? My name is Dami Lala to you, and this is Ask Dami, the place where you receive practical answers to life's complex questions. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top three reasons New Year resolutions just don't work and what you can do about that starting now. Keep on watching. I'll tell you more. Welcome back. Now I realize that you don't have time to waste, so let's dive into the heart of the matter. The first reason New Year resolutions just don't work is because they are New Year resolutions. Did you get that? New Year resolutions don't work because that's what we call them, New Year resolutions. Now you've got to realize that your mind is a sophisticated machine and it processes information very intelligently. The adjectives you use in defining your goals actually influence the degree of commitment that you will garner within yourself. So when you call something a New Year's resolution, it's like saying, I will do this at the beginning of the year. I will do this when the year is new. What happens when the year becomes middle-aged, when it becomes old, or when it becomes ancient and gray-haired? In simpler terms, what happens in June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, when life has already hit you with so many blows and you feel like quitting? The challenge is most people call it New Year's resolutions, and so in January and February, they're fired up and revved up and ready to go. But as the year begins to wear on, they lose the tempo, the zeal and the zest to push through on their commitments and to hold true their promises and their decisions. The second reason New Year's resolutions don't work is because for most people, their dreams, their wishes, and their desires. They are never really resolutions. What does that mean? For most people, when they say at the beginning of the year, I want to lose weight, I want to read a book every week, I want to travel to Hawaii or Paris, I want to learn Mandarin or Cantonese, I want to learn how to fry frogs or bake cakes or fly a jet or play a musical instrument, it's a wish. It's in the realm of should do or good to do. It's never in the realm of must do and I have to do. How does that even matter? When you look at your life, the things that you often get done are the things that you prioritize. They are the musts in your life. You work hard and you earn some money because you must have some food in your stomach and some clothes in your back. Why do you do the things you do? That is the bridge between the should and the must. As long as your resolution is a should do, it won't get done. But when you move it from the compartment of should to the realm of must, Something sparks within your emotion, your mind, and your will and volition, and you find the strength and the resolve to follow through on your promise. The third reason new resolutions fail is because most people don't have a system to sustain their decision. 
There are two systems that you must have in place for every decision to fall through or go through and reach a defined goal or objective. The first system is a reward system. You've got to have a way of rewarding yourself for the latest steps and the successes that you record along the way. Secondly, there must be an accountability system. Somebody somewhere who is deeply concerned about you and your desire to improve your life, who constantly guides, encourages, motivates and inspires you to make sure you don't fall by the wayside. There is a reason you need a partner and that is so you can keep on going whenever you feel like giving up. Now I've told you the problems, I'm going to share with you what you can do about it. The first thing is, you need to stop saying, my new year resolution is. You just need to say, my decision is, my resolution is, what I've decided to do in this season of my life is, write a book, start a business, speak to somebody, forgive somebody, share my message, communicate effectively, take a course, whatever it is, make it a resolution, not a new year resolution. The second reason is find out the why. Why do you want to lose weight to feed in? Why? Why do you want to write a book? Why do you want to travel? Why do you want to sing? Why do you want to join the choir? Why do you want to be a lead vocal? Why do you want to forgive the person you want to forgive? You have good reasons. Have you distilled them, defined them? Have you made sure that you have those things at the center of your thoughts whenever you want to engage in that activity? And the third thing is create a reward system. What are you going to give yourself when you lose the first kilogram? of fat what are you going to give yourself after maintaining your schedule in the gym after the first month what are you get, going to give yourself when you finally let go of the grudge the malice the offense and the bitterness what reward would you create for yourself to show that you keep on moving along the path also who is your accountability partner who's the person who calls you the night before your presentation and says you've made a decision to make this presentation and you have to follow through now, here's the challenge for you. Three quick assi assignments. Number one, write in your comments in the box below and tell me what your resolutions for the year are. Tell me the first three, not the 21 or 57 or 653, the first three resolutions that you have for this new year. Fill in the comment box below. Secondly, share this link with somebody who has a resolution. It could be your friend, your loved one, your sister, your uncle, your boyfriend, your fiance, your financier, your loved one, whatever it is. Share this link with somebody who has a resolution. Number three, call up an accountability partner and say, I want you to make sure I get this, that, and the other done this year. It's been nice sharing with you as always, and I love and enjoy reading your comments and your feedback. So fill them in here before you click away. But remember, before we meet again, you are the answer to somebody's question. You are the solution to somebody's problem. So go out there today and every day. Make a positive difference because the world is waiting for you.